Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of Elite Code Weekly Contest 360, uh, a hard level problem and a very good one to solve. Uh, initially, when the contest started, they they marked it as, as a medium problem. But yeah, it's not a medium problem at all. And we'll see why, right? So the problem name is minimum operations to form subsequence with target sum. Okay. So the problem statement says that you are given a zero indexed array nums consisting of non-negative powers of two and an integer target. Okay. In one operation, you must apply the following changes to the array. What are those changes? Choose any element of the array. Uh, that is choose nums of i such that that value is greater than one. Okay. Remove nums of i from the array and add two occurrences of nums of i by two to the end of nums, right? Basically, if you have two raised to x, which is greater than one, so remove it from the array and add two raised to x minus one and two raised to x minus one in the array. Ultimately, the sum will not change, okay? It's just that you have split one element into two halves, okay? Return the minimum number of operations you need to perform so that nums contains a subsequence whose elements sum to a given target, right? If it is impossible to obtain such a subsequence, return minus one. What is a subsequence? A subsequence is an array that can be derived from another array by deleting some or no elements without changing the order of the elements, right? So let's see, let's take the first example. The elements I have is one, two, eight. The target that I want is seven, okay? Now, is it possible to choose a subsequence uh, such that if I add all the elements of the subsequence, I get seven? So right now, if you see, there is uh, no possibility, right? So <laughs> what do I need to do in this case? Let's divide this, okay? If I divide this, what do I get? I get one, two, this one, this two, and here I get four and four. Now, is it possible to choose a subsequence of sum equals to seven? Yes, you choose one, two, and four. So you will get a seven of, uh, you, you will get a sum of seven, and hence we did the operation only one time, right? The splitting operation is something, uh, that that is done one time right so my answer is one okay now one more thing to note here is it says subsequence right so a subsequence is suppose you have some elements right so from this original array if you remove some of the elements maybe zero whatever elements do you get that is a subsequence right so here since we need to find the sum right so we, you can assume to be a subset right like for example one two four is here which is giving me seven. So four to one will also give me seven. What I mean to say the order doesn't matter, right? The order doesn't matter of the element. So here the subsequence can also be known as a subset. Okay, this is just one point to note. Second thing, I want to form a target, right? I want to form a target, right? Now, as I told you, suppose we have two raised to x in the array, we are splitting it into two raised to x minus one, two raised to x minus one. That means the overall sum is not changing, right? That means you had eight, you split into four and four. So overall sum is not changing. Yes, the number of elements uh, may increase in the array, right? So I want to form this sum. However, if the sum of all the elements in the array, right, in the original array, if that is, right, that is less than the target. What do we mean by this? In this case, sum of the elements is one, two, eight, that comes out to be 11, right? So all the elements that I have, they are capable of giving you a maximum value of 11. But someone says that you have to form a target of 12, right? So it is not possible to form a target, right? It's not possible to form a target. The total the, the total sum is x and you want to form a number y where y is greater than x. So in that case, target cannot be formed. So you can directly return minus one in that case, right? This is, in, this is the, uh, I would say, uh, a case which, which you can uh, take care separately and then only uh, you can solve the, right? You can write the core logic, right? So. If sum is less than target, you can return minus one, not able to form. Now comes the question, is it always true that if my sum is greater than or equals to target, I'll be able to form the sum, right? Is it is it always true? So let's check that, let's check that. Suppose I want to form a target of, uh, let's say 50, okay? And I have in my array, suppose I have value 16 and one, just taking an example, right? Now here the sum is 17, 17 is greater than 15, right? Now, though the problem says that you need to return the minimum number of, number of operations, but still, just see, all the numbers that you have are powers of two, right? Now, obviously I can choose any number, like in this case 16, I can choose 16, I can get two eight, I can just choose this, I can get two four from here, two four from here, 
देन हेयर आई कैन गेट टू 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 गेटिंग इट एंड फाइनली आई कैन गेट सिक्सटीन वंस ओके वट आई मीन टू से आफ्टर सम नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन आई एल बी एबल टू कन्वर्ट दिस सिक्सटीन इन टू सिक्सटीन सेपरेट वंस राइट ओके सो दो दीज आर नॉट द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन बट स्टिल आई विल बी एबल टू चूज सम नंबर्स फ्रॉम द न्यूली जनरेटेड सीक्वेंस राइट who who sum is equals to the given target right right here why why i am telling you this is because this is this is sure shot that if the sum is greater than or equals to target i will be able to you know uh, get the target value right i will be able to choose a subsequence the reason being in worst case what i'll have to do i'll have to convert all the given powers of 2 into 1 दो द नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन विल बी हाई इन दैट केस बट स्टिल देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी राइट सो माइनस वन विल नॉट बी देयर ओके देर विल बी सम फाइनाइट नंबर फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन राइट सो दैट इज वाई यू कैन सिंपली रिटर्न माइनस वन और यू कैन प्रोसीड विथ योर सोल्यूशन राइट बेस्ड ऑन दिस कंडीशन राइट नाउ कन्स द क्वेश्चन हाउ टू डेवलप द इंट्यूशन टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम राइट हाउ टू डेवलप द इंट्यूशन सो सपोज एज ए टोल द ऑर्डर ऑफ द वैल्यूज डज इन मैटर राइट Now, if I have some values, let's uh, let's take this, 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 this. I have some value, right? <coughs> Now, in my target, like in this case, I want a target of seven. So the binary representation of seven is one, 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 right? And here I have some numbers. Here I have some numbers, right? Now, what is eight? Eight is like this, one triple zero. What is two? Zero one zero one. What is one? This is zero 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 one. Okay. What I mean to say is. in my target suppose this is a bit right this is a bit i want a one here right i want a one here how can i ensure that i have a one here right how can i ensure obviously i am dependent on these elements right so suppose there is already a one or, or i would say there are some numbers are there and even if a single number has a one here that means i can use that number right i can simply use that number i can simply use that number to basically remove this one right i mean this particular number whatever it is like this is one right this one can uh, can be helpful in removing this one right so now my target will decrease now i want to form a six right now remember every number since every number is a power of 2 so every number will have only one bit set right will have only one bit set so what i mean to say at every position you just try to find the count of bits right like for at this how many numbers uh, have one at this position how many numbers have one at this position how many numbers have one and so on all right first thing is this For remove uh, moving from left to right or right to left is totally different but this is the first thing you need to find out reason being i want to if i if, if i need a one in the target i will use that frequency array to find that do i have a one there if i have a one there yes i am sorted this position is sorted you don't need to do any division any division to get a one here right so take bit by bit right take by bit by bit right now the second thing the second thing i have i have some bit positions right now just see here i have some numbers like in this case 1 2 4 right so combining numbers does not incur any cost right combining numbers does not incur any cost okay so however however on the other hand if i take a large number and i divide it that takes cost right that that in that i'll have to do some operations right Div division takes some operations which is counted and addition doesn't take any operation right that that's uh, that is something that is not counted right so what i can do is just see what i can do is since division takes operation i can start moving from right to left right i can start moving from right to left right now why right to left because consider this position right consider this position this position can be formed right if i already have a one here in the frequency array great this position can be formed if i do not have a one here that means i need to, i need to split some larger numbers to get a one here right suppose i have a 8 here and i need a one here so i'll split it into four then two and so on right this is what i need to do so to count it to 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 create a count for that we are moving from right to left now you can move from left to right as well that is also one of the possibilities we are just taking one direction here that's it the logic will change a little bit but overall uh, you you can go with any of the things right so we are moving from right to left okay so now what we will do is suppose we are at a particular bit position right let me yeah let me come here yeah 
I'll take this example because this is a good example. So I have 1, 1, 2 and 32. Let's take frequency here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Forget about the other questions, okay? Bit number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, right? How many numbers? These are the four numbers I have. How many numbers? Uh, right, or, or in the other words, what's the power? This is 1. This is 2 raised to 0. One number is there with 2 raised to 0. This is again 1. Two numbers are there with 2 raised to 0. Or two numbers are there whose 0th bit is set. This is 2 raised to 1. This is 2 raised to 5 okay this is the frequency array that looks like right that that this this is how the frequency array looks like right i want to form a target of 12 what is 12 1 2 3 4 this is 0 1 2 3 these are the bit positions right let's do it step by step right now just see here at 0th position right it, it, uh, do i need a 1 in my target at 0th position just see here no i do not need a target so what i'll do I do not need to perform any operation, right? I do not need to perform any operation. No splitting needed. But there is one more thing. There are there are two numbers which have a zero, which have a one at this position, right? So in future, in future, maybe I will need these numbers. So what I can do, I can just combine them. I can just combine them. Like for example, I have two occurrences of one. Now, in future, when I when I need them, I'll just use them as a sum, right? No further splitting is done, right? So what I can do, I can convert these two ones into a single two, right? Just see, eight just in bits, right? So this becomes two. These two gets converted into a one, right? Two raised to x is divided into two raised to x minus one, two raised to x minus one. So two raised to x minus one and x minus one will be combined into two raised to x. So it's if this is if th this is occurring one time this will occur one one time and if this is occurring one time plus one time getting the, i mean total two times then this will be occurred one time simple basic stuff right we do that now we come to the second position do we need a one here in the target no we do not need a one but here i have a couple of uh, you know numbers having one so what i'll do till now i haven't performed any operation right so what i'll do here these numbers can be used in future so i have this tells me that what's the total sum of numbers you have so 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to 1 that is 2 raised to 2 move them here so this frequency will become 1 right 2 divided by 2 this will become 1 great now do i need a 1 at this position yes i need a 1 at this position do i have a so do i have some numbers which can give me a 1 at this position yes i have some numbers which can give me 1 at this position now just see the benefit what happened the benefit was initially i was not having a one at this position however there were some small numbers which added up to give me a number right which has a uh, you know a, a bit set at this position right these are all powers of two right these are all powers of two so ultimately i'll be i'll be gaining something right like for example from two raised to zero you combine them to get two raised to one you combine some of them to get two raised to two so these are again powers of two only right so so what I mean to say, forget about the other things. Just see the beauty. If you needed 8, right? If you needed 8, so you would have got 8 by just, sorry, here it is 4. I, I'm really sorry. This is 2 raised to 2, right? If you would have needed 4 as your target, without doing any operation, you would have got, you would have got 4, right? By just combining smaller numbers. Just see, you would have combined 1 plus 1 plus 2, you would have got 4. Getting it? So that is the beauty. That is why we are doing it, right? So I need a 1 here. I have got a one here. So now this becomes zero. I perform, I do not perform any operation, but these all cancels out. These all cancels out. Great. Let's move to this position. All right. Now, do I need a one here? Yes, I need a one here, but I do not have a one here. Okay. So now I'll start moving forward. This is position number four. Do I need a one here? No. Right. I do not need a one here. So here also, I do not have it. Right. I move to position 5. So I'll, I'll move to all the 30, 31 positions because the numbers can go up to 2 raised to 30, right? We are going bit by bit. Now at position 5, do I need a 1 here? No, but I have a 1 here. Now just see, just see. Till here, I was able to form all the numbers. Sorry. Till here, I was able to form all the numbers. This was, this was a position. This index number 3 was a position where I needed a 1, but I was not able to form it because all the smaller numbers were already consumed right so the only option i have is since i need a one here i'll pick up a larger number right i'll pick up a larger number and i'll just split it i'll split it right so how many operations do i need to split just see here this is two raised to five in one operation you will get two occurrences of two raised to four then again right two occurrences of two raised to four 
then again in one operation you can pick any occurrence of 2 raised to 4 you will get two occurrences of 2 raised to 3 what i mean to say you have a number at uh, having fifth bit set you want to get a number having third bit set so how many operations do you need you need two operations in one operation you can convert one, one one occurrence of this number to two occurrences of 2 raised to 4 then again pick one occurrence of 2 raised to 4 to get two occurrences of 2 raised to 3 because ultimately i just need one frequency at every position right in the in the target right simple okay so this is what we do now let's take a tricky case how many operations in here two operations needed the difference between the bit position right now there is one more thing there is one more thing let's take a very let's take a more tricky case okay i'll just erase it and we'll start from the beginning because then you'll get the intuition that why we are doing each and everything right great so my target was 12 right 1 1 0 0 the numbers were 5 4 3 2, 1 0 okay so the configuration of my count error was this became 0 this became 0 this became 1 here it was 0 here it is zero, it was 0 and here it was 1 right i, I was having 32 2 and 1 1 right so that's it now yes now this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so what I am saying, instead of taking target as 12, 12 was solved, right? I needed two operations and I got 12. But let's take a tricky case, right? Here, what we'll, what we'll do, we'll form a sum of this. Not 12, rather, this is 2 raised to 4. So let's form a sum of 28, right? Let's form a sum of 28. We'll again go the same ways, right? We'll again go the same ways. Do I need a uh, 1 here? No. No, not needed. Do I need a 1 here? No not needed again you do not have something to combine do i need a one here yes and do you have a one here yes great done till here then do i need a one here yes but do i do i have a one here no you do not have a one here so at index three you need something you need a one but you do not have it let's move forward at index four do i need a one yes you need a one but do you have a one no so at index three and four both places you need a one all right move to index five let's take one more one here to make things complex right okay now do i need a one here yes you need a one here right or let me let's not make things too much too much complex let's try to keep it easy only okay so at index five do you need a one no i do not need a one but i have a i have a one here now what happens is when i come here now when i come here i just see that i have a one here i do not need that one right i do not need that one I rather need a 1 at 3 position at at 4 position, right? So what I'll do, what are the number of operations to get 1 here and 1 here? Just see, as I told you in the previous case, you can take 1 occurrence of 2 raised to 5. In one operation, you can get 2 occurrences of 2 raised to 4. Then in the second operation, you can choose any 1 occurrence of 2 raised to 4 to get 2 occurrences of 2 raised to 3. So what is happening here? Just see, in two operations, you are able to fulfill this position as well as this position getting it ultimately whatever is the rightmost position where i need a one which has not been fulfilled okay and i have a one at a particular position which is not needed or maybe i have more frequencies right so whatever is the difference in indices between these two that those are the number of operations i i need to satisfy you know condition of all the numbers between them right for example if i have a bit at position six okay and i need a bit at position 2 0 1 2 3 4 5 right i need a 1 here all at every these positions suppose i need 1 1 1 every position but i did not had a 1 i only had a 1 here so what i'll do i will break this into 2 raised to 5 1 occurrence is broken into 2 raised to 4 1 occurrence is broken into 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 2 and so on right so what happens in 1 2 3 4 5 operations you are able to fulfill all the positions which are between them getting it this is how we do the things right this is how we do the things at every position we just check do we need the do we need a bet if needed and if it is there well and good if it is not there just keep a track of that index right keep a track of rightmost index right now whenever you go to a particular index just see that do you have sufficient number of um, you know sufficient occurrences of numbers which have a bit at that particular set right if it is set you can use that number to move forward right let me show you the code so that it becomes crystal clear right this is the sum this is the answer right this is the frequency i was talking about right i've just added some comments as well to uh, have better understanding now for every number i'll just see that first i'll find out the sum now i'm finding out the sum so that 
I can check that is my target large, is my target small, like is it possible to get the answer or not, right? What's the current power? This is how you find the power, right? Like for example, four is given, so two raised to two. So at index number two, you will just increment it. Basically, I am constructing the frequency array here, right? Now, if my target is greater than the sum of elements of the array, you return minus one. Done. This is done. Now comes the core logic. Minimum index is equal to 32. Why? So you remember what I was saying? I need a one at this position, but I do not have a one. So I'm dependent on a position which is which which has a weightage larger than this position and has a one here. So I'll break this guy, okay, to get a one here or a here or here or here, right? So that is why to keep a track of the rightmost index, I've taken this variable, right? I goes from zero to 31. Now what's the weightage of the current bit? It's one left shift I, okay? Now just check, current bit needed. Do we need the current bit? If yes, we do need the current bit, what happens? So if we need the current bit, just check. Can I have it? Like, do I already have it? So if frequency of i is greater than zero, I have it. Just decrement the frequency. Okay. Now, second condition. I need a bit there, but I do not have it. So current bit not present, mark its position. So minimum index equals to mat dot min of minimum index comma one. Why I have taken minimum? Because suppose I need a one at position five, at three, at five. So what I said, if I have a one here and if I, you know, uh, place a one here how many operations are need one two three in these three operations now these two also will be satisfied if then if i need a one here so i need i need to keep a track of rightmost bit and that that has the smallest weightage right so that's why it's minimum minimum of five four three that that is three only okay that is why now the second question this this was when i wanted a bit at that particular position right my target needed that bit now here i have i've have, I have taken care of both the cases now current bit not needed but do we need any other smaller bit right so here it takes care of that the current bit was needed now the current bit is not needed so do i need to satisfy any other condition just check that so what i do if frequency of i is greater than zero that do i have a current bit here in my frequency array or rather if i have do i have some numbers and minimum index is less than less than i meaning i'm standing here do i need a bit on my right hand side do i need a bit here which is not satisfied so if you need a bit answer plus equals to i minus minus minimum index right because these are the number of operations needed frequency of i minus minus because at i suppose you are having x number of you are having x numbers uh, which which were basically two raised to i now since you have used one occurrence you'll have you're left with uh, you know two raised uh, how many numbers one one less number right if we were having x numbers now there will be x minus one numbers right so that is where this and minimum index is reset why because now condition for all the bits are satisfied right maybe in future you will need some other bits whose condition is not satisfied but till here everything is satisfied now the last thing combine smaller bits to larger bits why because the the numbers which are not used suppose i'm standing at this index right and the numbers which are not used right they can contribute in the in making the uh, you know larger sum so you move it on the left hand side because these operations do not involve any cost right so just do that for example if i have two occurrences of uh, two raised to two i'll make it one occurrence of two raised to three simple frequency of i plus one plus equals to frequency of i divided by two getting it and finally you return the answer so that's why i've added some detailed comments so that you understand it better again this is a hard level problem uh, i personally think if you're not able to understand it for the first time uh, go through the explanation once again try it out by taking a pen and paper this will become crystal clear right because these good problems need time to digest right uh, I, I can make a half an hour video i can maybe make a five minute video but ultimately you have to do some practice to understand it better right every problem is different this problem is i would say uh, again a different problem here the things to learn are that first thing the most basic thing subsequence subset is the same thing in this problem second thing combining smaller numbers to larger numbers in does not involve any cost okay i can do that free of cost so i'll do that then the third thing how i can keep my information that a particular bit needs a one and I can take a one from a higher bit position and move on the right hand side. Moving on the right hand side will satisfy the condition for all the bits here, right? So these are some of the things to take care. Now, writing code is easy. Coming up with a code which uh, basically, you know, uh, 
which tells you the exact logic is a little bit tough but again this is how you solve this problem uh, by the way do let me know if you have any issues related to the solution or you have any other solution as well as i told you can move from right to left as well in that case your logic will be different the core logic will be same if this is there you can uh, skip it in that case what happens you move from the largest element so when you move from the largest element you just check that if the largest element right i have a sum and if i remove the largest element from there if that is again e greater than equals to target then that means my problem has reduced to a smaller problem and in that case i can simply remove this element now sum minus a is the new sum and target is the new target that that number is removed right so this is how you'll solve that uh, you know this the same problem by moving from left to right right but again i find this one to be easier that's why i have explained this one in the uh, in this video right so if you if you learn something new from this video please support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well and as i told in case of any queries mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye